All right, let's get through the nitty-gritty. Context sensitive is going to be a serious where I don't technically review a game, but I kind of show you parts of it and rant about it since everybody loves to hear me curse and scream. And there's no better game to curse and scream at than Sonic the Hedgehog on the 360 because this game is a piece of shit. I wanted to like it. Believe me, I was sitting there trying so hard, but the more I played, the more I realized just how fucking bad it is. And one of the main gripes of this game, one of the reasons it drives me batshit loony insane, is these fucking load times from hell. They just keep dragging. And the worst is these cutscenes, you can't immediately skip them. You have to wait a few seconds, and then you can skip them. And I've seen this cutscene, I don't know, fucking 30 times now, because I've yet to get past this point, and I've been trying, because I wanted to do a full review, but until I get past the whole fucking game, and I can at least show you some kind of ending, or have some competence at it, I'm not reviewing it. So, instead I'm doing context sensitive here, where I'm basically going to yell and scream at why this game is so fucking flawed. You wanted to know, again, with the load times. Cricket? Cricket? You hear the crickets in the background? Not to mention, and I understand the Sonic series has been known for this, but ever since it's the 3D eras of this series, it's been like m melodramatic bullshit plotline with anthropomorphic, however the fuck you pronounce it, characters running around trying to save the fucking universe. I mean, they take it a little too seriously. And it's supposed to be a kid's game, so what I don't understand is why the fuck is it so damn difficult at points? So here we go, we're finally in the fucking game, after all that shit time wait. The whole city's on fire. Thank you for the update, Sonic. Like, I can't fucking see the flames with my own two eyes. Something you're gonna immediately notice is the controls are broken beyond all belief. I did not stop the board there. It just randomly decided to stop on its own. No bullshit. You're also gonna notice the frame rate will take a consistent dive for absolutely no reason. And then you're gonna notice this. One shot pitfall deaths. One shot, and if you miss it, you're fucked. No saving grace, no nothing. There is no reason to have this in video games. The only game that can have an excuse for this is you made a Ghouls and Ghosts remake. Now, in this day and age. Not Maximo, I said Ghouls and Ghosts. There is no fucking reason for a Sonic the Hedgehog game to have this kind of a, like, stringent death toll. And I missed the game. Now, you may be sitting there going, oh, well, you didn't jump at the right time. Believe me, I was holding that button down. I've done this enough to know when you're supposed to time it to do that. The problem is the game is just not responsive. It'll freeze, it'll lag, it won't do what you, what, it won't do what you tell it to do. It controls like a train wreck fucking disaster. And again, it's a fucking shame, because I like the Sonic the Hedgehog series on the Genesis. But this is fucking ridiculous. Even on the Dreamcast, as bad as those controls were and the camera were, there really wasn't anything this fucking terrible. They had its moments, but at least I could beat it. I have yet to get past this point simply because the controls are bro- Look, here we go again. And pressing down is not going to make me go down. Pressing down actually makes you go up, for whatever reason. So, it probably inverts the controls or something, because the camera and the gameplay can't keep up with you, and... Yeah, I'm just making shit up now. I, I'm not making excuses for this. This is bullshit, okay? And what's really fucking funny is the stuff that comes up after that is so fucking piss easy, it'll make you bang your head against the desk in frustration because you just killed yourself trying to make that one leap and now you fly through levels, you fly through, I'm sorry, you fly through the rest of the fucking level with enemies flying all over there that's trying to rape you up the ass and nothing fucking happens. You could dodge everything. You could run into everything. You won't die as long as you don't fly off the side to the fucking level. You're fine. There's no more pitfall jumps. There's no more instant deaths. I mean, come on! Balance, for Christ's sake? Oh, we don't know that. We are at Sonic Team, we like to make games that bust your fucking balls because of one shitty fucking moment after another. Which you're gonna see as soon as I get past this, because let me tell you something, it's another shitstorm coming up, an even worse one. For this part coming up, if your controls, if you're not absolutely precise with your jumping, you're gonna fuck up and you're gonna die. You will die a lot. I can understand once or twice, you know, learn it to, to get good at it, but after the 10th time, this shit gets old. And you can't survive 10 throws in a row. You know why? Because after 5, you're dead. And guess what happens then? You go back to the fucking tile sequence. So here we go. And let me tell you something. This is more vertigo-inducing than you might think. Because while you're seeing on, on a tiny-ass window, anybody's played this game, I think they could agree with me that this is really a sickening scene in terms of how fast it moves and how precise you have to be with these friggin' jumps when the camera's flying all over the universe. And you have shit like this happening all the fucking time. I don't even know if I'm allowed to go on this fucking platform or not. I just took a wild guess. 
The best is you gotta attack enemies like that. You're in the middle of fucking air. It's a 40 foot drop. And you got shit like this. I pressed the jump button. I pressed that jump button and nothing fucking happened. So now we go back to fucking square one. In a minute. I'm trying to warm up my hands. is starting to hurt from this shit. This game is, is just notoriously difficult for no fucking reason whatsoever. Alright. Let's try again. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. I'll try it again. Screwed. I'm here to show you guys the annoyances. I might as well just murder my hands in the process. Alright. We're doing the same shit again. Now, you may notice I did, I'm doing the same... It's basically the same thing I did before. Except now, instead of what I did before, I'm simply going to do the one jump, leap to the rail, and here comes the best part. What I miss it by? A quarter of a fucking centimeter? Fucking Sonic. Zero gravity intake, asswipe. The best, however, is shit like this, where you just randomly fucking die for no reason whatsoever. So, if you manage to get past that bullshit, this is what comes up next. More of, like, the most vertigo-inducing moments in video game history, simply because you have no control whatsoever. If you just touch the analog stick when these things are going, chances are you're gonna throw yourself off the path, you're gonna fall smack dab in the fucking lava. Bang, zoom, shoom, boom, on fire, that's it, end of story. If you don't believe me, play the game and find out for yourself, because I'm not lying. That's exactly what's gonna fucking happen. You pretty much just control for a few seconds at tops in this game, most times if it's not platform normally. And then, you know, you're left to basically just do stuff like this. And this could be fucked up too, if you're not aiming for the characters, and then you see shit like that where the camera's just completely reversed on my ass. Am I supposed to really be able to keep up with this shit? I mean, it's pretty friggin' hard when you think about it. And you get like you run into walls and stuff, and you get the sense that this game just ain't finished. Oh, it looks cool, but it certainly doesn't play cool. And the best is like, if you were to die, you'd have to do all that shit all over again as you make it to the checkpoint, which I barely even got to because of the goddamn thing. You know, it's just the controls are so spazzy. You can't make precision jumps or anything. It's just one big speed intake with zero fucking controls, zero fucking balance, and while it certainly does look cool in motion, playing it is a whole different story. And the camera is never facing the right fucking direction! Not once when I play this game does that camera want to stay in the direction I put it in. It loves to fly and look at a fucking wall while I'm trying to make a jump over a cat. Whatever you call it, a fucking... A fucking 40 foot fall, okay? As you're about to find it. Like, see right there, I had to check to see it. You'll see it, you'll literally see me spazzing out with the controls, because I'm afraid, like, I'm gonna fall off a cliff if I don't move fast enough. This is the more brilliant thing right here. What I was telling you about, if you touch it, you won't be able to do certain things. This is exactly the case. I'm pushing forward and I can't do it. Watch what you have to actually do. You have to completely let the controls go and land on the rail. That you can't even fucking see! I almost fell off the level again. Now I fell off the fucking level. Yes. Fucking level again. Motherfucker! Damn it, Sonic, stay on the fucking level and do what I tell you to, you friggin' hedgehog! Alright, let's do this again! Oh, God almighty. I mean, what, what could you possibly have to say about this game beyond what I just told you? I highly doubt there's one person out there who's going to disagree with me on this. I'm sure those people are going to claim this game is fantastic, but those people probably don't have any kind of taste in games whatsoever. So now, we are finally getting past this point, I think. Yes. Now we're going on to the final part of this level. I think. I don't actually know. And this is just... This is just the culmination of all the bullshit you've seen before. This is a combo of everything I hate about gaming. Bad controls, bad camera angles, just a sloppy design in every sense of the word. And, oh, it looks cool. And I gotta admit, the music is really kick-ass in this part. But this is insanity. At the speed you move in this game, they should not be asking you to make two-inch fucking platform jumps. It's ridiculous. You've seen how Sonic moves, you've seen how the camera jerks every fucking way except forward. Look at this, I can't even face the damn thing! I gotta turn around, I gotta try to time this shit correctly, and I hope I make it. Because if I don't fucking make it, I'll fall off, like this. That was not my fault. The thing just fucking glitches out on you, and it's like 